Hi, and welcome to episode 6 of RimWorld of Magic. I'm Icon, and today we're going to get a little bit deeper into the story of this little place, because uh, I enjoyed the comments of between the last episode and uh, episodes before that a lot, and I was thinking maybe the arrival of Eric changed something with, between these three because uh, he has very high plant skill, well, very high, pretty, he's pretty talented at these things, which are typical for a farmer, I'd say, and he's very good at social things. He's even a missionary. I mean, come on. I think with Eric here, the three of them will be more like uh, motivated to follow that. Uh, that lifestyle so we're going to go like that and if you're new to the series uh, i try to emphasize my playstyle around uh, a lot around what's happening in the series and try to make this uh, as much of, uh, of a role play run as i can so if you like this kind of content drop a subscription on the channel you won't miss a thing and it helps me a lot more than you might think so today is going to be a nice expansion day. I just hope that Lindsay or or silent uh, friend in here, the industrial orphan, we rescued her from the sickle wolves. Those guys uh, tried to sell, to kill her off by sending her to us. Um, she's magically gifted and tough. It's just a, just an awesome combo. I, I really like the tough trade. It just uh, cuts the damage that comes onto the colonist by half. That's sick. If you've ever seen that in action on a power, on a person with power armor equipped, you know what I'm ha what I'm talking about. So this is one of the best uh, traits for melee colonists available, and that's why, well, apart from the role playing uh, aspect, that I really want to take every magically gifted person in here. She's also gameplay wise a very powerful person. So. We're having her here since uh, I think two episodes already. It's a long time. And um, here goes Eric's new room. It's uh, coming along really nicely, but come on guys, bring in the table. You're going to have a bit of light in here. And uh, Eric's skills are devel developing insanely uh, quickly due to the um, regular meditations of his. So mind over body will be uh, giving him some nice damage ignoring effect as well now. So I'm not sure if it's worth maxing that out though. I might be going for something else in between but then again damage uh, reduction it's pretty tough it's pretty nice. Free damage reduction even. I mean, the damage reduction uh, gets lowered by each kilo of uh, garment here, so uh, we lose at least three. I, I think it's uh, it's going to be exact, so we're going to lose three point five um, of the uh, damage reduction here. So let's check that out. On max level, he would have ten damage reduction. Um. <laughs> to put that into some perspective, um, so this club here does 14 damage with the head and 9 damage with the handle, so uh, we'd only take uh, 3 damage tops from a club. But let's go for a gun, and there it's the point where it's getting more and more spooky. 11 damage. So most of that bullet he's going to soak up immediately. The assault rifle features a pretty low armor penetration, so yeah, I think it's worth maxing it out. Let's go. All right, so the goats are uh, are now mm -hmm. in town and delivering nice milk here. Oh man, I wish we had the auto door technology already. Those, uh, maybe I'm going to replace those stone doors. They're being used so much. They're really slowing us down. So, to make this place a farm, we're going to have, of course, a lot of work in front of us. So, since we're living in the arid shrubland, I'm going to uh, have to tame on quite interesting specimen as well. So, I think I'm going to hunt away on those fish and mice, because uh, fish and mice are quite 
um, effective when it comes down to giving you meat and leather to the colony because every fish and mouse you kill basically spawns three more. So you have to quadruple the output of every, one, every single one. Um, it's pretty insane, actually. They, they should be really, really efficient uh, livestock, but, uh, well, don't want to do it in this run. Alright. I love this little robot. Seriously. I mean, that thing is just uh, doing so much work here for us. We were, I think the, the whole work here got completed so quickly due to the uh, endless work of that single robot. I love it. I bought the crafter bot on the last episode and uh, configured it to take care of the stone cutting and uh, metal smelting jobs. So we can safely expand the base and easily do so. Um, yeah, so what to do next? I mean, we got resources, we got power, we got everything that we might wish for. So the only thing I don't have is a place where my animals can live. So for the animals, I mean, if you want to take care of animals properly, you need a meadow. So I think the most effective way will be to considering this uh, walled off area here as the meadow and everything else now will be the actual base. So I'm going to ask myself how would these three people go forward from here because uh, this is the best safe place for the animals to be taken care uh, to be taken care. We have food, we have walls. But uh, how do we tackle this um, as a base? I think I think we should expand this way towards the power. And of course, I'm going to think about how and where we're going to fight and how this whole thing looks like in a larger scale. But I think I'm not going to find the answer today to that. Definitely not. But I think there's one thing we can today uh, build up, and that's um, some party room, because that's something they certainly deserved. So I think I'm going to consider this part of the base kind of like um, a, a mansion with, with a meadow connected. And maybe we're going to expand over that when we get more people. That would be the logical thing that you would do, right? If you're a, a bunch of four people, you would try to uh, build a a bar, a, a large, uh, a large land house, easy to defend, giving everything you need, and it will eventually grow into a settlement when more and more people arrive. So I think that's what I'm going to do, and try to build around that as efficient as possible because uh, we want to survive. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, there's enough sandstone available to build that thing here from the scratch. And let's see what kind of flooring is available. What looks like a, what will look like a room to have fun with amethyst floor? Are you kidding me? We have, um, wow. When did I find that? Must have been a, a update from my patches, from my uh, from my flooring mods. They don't get updated regularly. Can't imagine that I uh, that I didn't notice that in the past. Ooh, neat. So I mean, a gemstone floor would be uh, very very fancy, but I think gemstone floors are something we're we're not going to use for for a little uh, rec room. No. So, if already researched, I would go for uh, carpets, but um, we're, we're not there yet. Um, what about the research, though? So, uh, research is on Yana. <laughs> no. Hi. 
that's bad. <laughs> that's so bad. Okay, so we won't be researching as long as Yana is constructing more of that uh, base. That's bitter. So it's obvious that our friends here need more friends to get things done because we're, we're having trouble to get our jobs done. And we're also in need of a little cotton growing zone because I noticed that um, I don't have any cotton. There we go. Okay, so Dennis is going on the hunt. The man with the assault rifle. There we go. What about my wood storage? Uh, it's uh, quite okay-ish. More fish and mice. Hunting away on those because I really want to grab hold on uh, some leathers. Because um, I think now the phase begins where these guys are thinking about how to, how to improve their lifestyle. I mean, the phase of survival is over. We have our first harvest in. We, uh, we're, we're drawing milk from our goats. And uh, I think there's uh, no more doubt that they want to um, make the life better. I mean, they they have that crafting bot. I think uh, if I could have a cleaning bot, I would immediately go for that. So, apart from that, I want to keep these here. Yes, but I'm going to do a new area, and that's uh, grazing grazing animals um, safe. Um, I'm calling this a little bit differently because um, this is going to be the zone for all the an the animals which are going to be inside here forever. It's going to be the chickens, for example. Um, you don't want to uh, have a few a certain kind of animals outside your base ever because uh, some animals are really awesome to have in your base as livestock. They're so terribly dumb that you really have to care take care about them. They're they're dying so quickly; it's insane. And uh, without zones like these, um, they're going to die super quickly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm basically excluding all the growing zones to make sure um, these uh, guys will only eat what's uh, inside the base. So I'm going to add up a, a barn in the future too, to make sure that they're not going to starve. I think we're going to dig out that barn. There's always the risk of uh, getting an infestation inside, but well, it sounds a little bit nasty if I put it into direct words, but uh, I'll, I'll rather have the infestation inside the animal barn where comet ready things are already there because uh, then I can just uh, attack away. Um, having an infestation spawn in your in your uh, livestock storage is uh, risky on one side, but uh, you you can attack that thing quite easily and uh, get the upper hand out of that if you have enough uh, combative animals like muffalos or such. They pack quite a punch and they take a while until they die. But, uh, well... I think I'm going to just uh, storage the food inside there and uh, put their sleeping spots somewhere else. I think it's, that's going to be the way how I deal with the with the risk management here. Because that way um, I'm getting the best out of both worlds. So, get some lights in here. It's not too dreary in this place. The dreary times are over. Still feel uh, very, very sorry for uh, Dennis about the loss of his youth. Back, there's a chronomancer lying in here that did that to him. It was a nasty attack. So, uh, yay, the light of civilization. Okay. Wild thyme. I really like like the uh, gardening uh, herbs. 
mod lod. And uh, now we have that kitchen finally installed. Awesome. So I want some cheap metal to uh, floor that room with. Not exactly steel, something like tin. That's exactly what I'm looking for. These extra metals are uh, bringing some variety into the steel and plasteel monotony of the base game. Which uh, is okay. I mean, I, I love the vanilla game. I play it a lot because I think RimWorld is fun with mods, without mods. So uh, it's uh, just awesome. But if you go without mods, I, I usually go for some quality of life things included, which, uh, from my personal taste, should be part of the game. Like a mini map. Come on. It's insane that we have to patch in a mini map via mod, in my opinion, but whatever. So the beauty of sandbox gaming, build it you the way you like. All right, so I'm really le uh, keeping an eye out for animals, uh, which are which I want to tame away. Um, we could tame boom rats and milk them for their uh, camp fuel, but I'm not too interested. The ostrichs are well. The problem about those things is that they're just. Uh, pretty aggressive. No, I think at this place we have to import uh, our things. So basic electronics. We got the basic electronics research. Look at that. We can build arcade machines, radios, old computers and tellies. So uh, that's an interesting turn of events. So with that kind of te technology, I, I really uh, think they're going to be they want to do something out of that. I mean, you can sell these things even. And uh, Connor, being the extra entrepreneur that he was, um, I think we should do something out of that. All right, let's check the map. Uh, if nothing else, they are great uh, for our recreation project. Um, let's go for power conduits. Oh, come on, these flies are so annoying try to hit my eyes like it's a target practice I don't know my cats are just uh, lazy bums sadly they can't keep up with that but uh well I'm kind of like living a little bit uh, um, more outside of town here and uh, we even have a horse ranch here in the, in the place where I'm living so and the, the area is swampy so I think do I have to say anything more? I think uh, the extraordinary amount of flies is just uh, a feature, not a bug. <laughs> All right, so uh, my animals are getting to sleep here and still no pregnancies are happening, but they should be happening soon. Let's bring in some more stones. <laughs> awesome, like uh, right on cue. Good job, good job. Keep being awesome, Vavara. So, let's check out my resources here. Ah, oh, dang. All right, I think I'm going to uh, go for some more extensive hunting quest tomorrow. Bring good old Dennis with his uh, rifle to a, to a more efficient hunting trip because I'm not happy with the, uh, with the speed of uh, leather gain here. Wow, that's a huge ruin. Look at that. It's one of the biggest I've ever seen spawning randomly on a map. I really like those. Um, there was a time when you had to install a mod for that. So, all right. So, Dennis, today you're not going to go for your mining pleasures. Today you're going for your killing pleasures. So, with a giddy up mod, we're going to... Uh, bring in uh, some riding here too but Dennis's ride got uh, got hijacked so there we go all right I love to do this because uh, on the donkey he's uh, well not exactly super fast but when you get some really good mounts it's really fun if you can soar with uh, with animals that have uh, like a movement speed of seven cells per second, wow, 
It's real fun to do. So, um, Dennis now uh, will be just in com will be just staying in combat mode. All right. So the bird is already on two point four cells per second. So no problem to uh, kite and kill. Come on, Dennis. One more. Can't do it. There we go. And uh, he's going to ride the donkey of death and uh, clear out a little bit of. Uh, meat for us and leather because this way we can uh, proceed with our production quite quickly so there we go oh that one looks a little bit uh, quicker all right so i'm going to dismount and uh take the uh, bird on the donkey in between so i forgot to turn that on and we have to bind them to... Oh, Dennis is not assigned to handling, I see. So that's why that's not working. All right, so... That didn't go like go plan, go according to plan. Damn. So will Dennis win that? I mean, 3.4 and now, uh, well... Dennis is quicker than the bird. There we go. Good job, Dennis. And uh, now, well, I underestimated that he's uh, not uh, that healthy anymore. He uh, he's asthmatic and uh, has a heart uh, heart problem these days. But that bird's only getting uh, weaker the longer we kite it. So at some point, Eric should be arriving. Um, to save the day. There we go. It's almost there. Shouldn't have dismounted, silly me. I really thought that uh, I would be able to uh, bring the um, the donkey to combat, but uh, that was obviously not the case. So I'm going to drag and strike on the uh, on the ostrich here. Oh no, we got a fight. We got a scratch. There we go. So let's go, Eric. Come on. Can't do it now. So let's uh, use a tiger strike. No, I can't do that until he's uh, locked in combat there. So Eric is a uh, really quick and boom, just uh, just one shot that guy. Maybe I should uh, let's try something, some 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 different uh, strategy. <laughs> Maybe that's more effective. <laughs> Maybe I should just uh, send the Kung Fu monk. Let's try that instead. So let's uh, let's check it out. Let's go. And that first hit almost cut its HP in half. Um. All right. Two blows and the iguana is down. There we go. So. Same thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's take some fish and mouse. So uh, nobody's patching up uh, Dennis, just uh, as was to be expected. All right, there we go. Oh, I, I hate it when they do that. Sometimes right clicking just doesn't work. And uh, that was a clear one shot. Oh dear, he, dear lord, he does a lot of da a lot of damage. So uh, yeah, we're going to take down all these. Uh, little animals here. So Got a new level up. Let's uh, level up the ignore damage skill. And uh, I'd really like to wrestle with an emu or an ostrich now. The rat just uh, got smacked with one strike. So uh, that's fun. That's an insanely uh, effective yet uh, unconventional way of hunting for your colony. Like, uh, 
All right, let's uh, let's go. Man against Emu. I should go for the Dragon Strike first, or what does it do? Um, so the closer an opponent is, the more damage. All right. So uh, let's do a Tiger Strike. All right. That uh, even does some bleeding. And now we go for the Dragon Strike. And uh, that's a downed bird. I mean, okay, I can't really relate. The, uh, the, the attacks went on the donkey, so... Okay. I think that's uh, enough. I made my point here. Yana is hauling all the uh, hunting... Uh, things right now away. I mean, it's quite good. We we are getting some leathers into into the town now, and with those leathers, I can make things that we can sell away. But first off, um, we we can't be proper farmers without cowboy hats. So let's do ourselves some cowboy hats. I mean, oh wait a sec. Not like this. Um, I don't want the crafting bot on these here oh, well i'm going to let him do that one uh hat because he already started that if i would cancel it now i'd lose some resources and i want i don't want that um here you go it's a crafting level one bot i i, I don't i can't expect any good uh results from that no no yana is having uh a level a crafting level of seven and she's going to be the person doing that nobody else and obviously eric is the person uh killing stuff for the colony and nobody else but also i'm going to put eric on hauling priority one now because um i think yana won't be getting to that job now that i uh ordered the production of uh, clothing on her there we go. So, she does a good quality out of things. That's more like it. Yeah, there we go. With this high movement speed and everything, I think uh, Eric is, of course, the best choice for a hauler. Oh man, I love this mod so much. Like, these, um, th these mages and uh, physically adept people are so OP, yes. But they're also so much fun to play. It's the best thing about it. It's OP as hell, but it's uh, at the same time so much fun. It's a very, very good combo. All right. So, hmm. What about Dennis, though? He's really not having a high priority on hunting yet. Let's change that. I don't know why I didn't have that yet. All right. So, the cowboy hat bill has been completed, and now we're going to make ourselves some boots. Same thing, lock it out for any other worker. It's really important when you're having crafter robots on the job. Because the bad thing about the crafter robots is they, they can't level. Like, they're always going to stay at the same uh, low quality. And uh, boots are so awesome because they just give you that little movement speed bonus for, for free. And they even insulate you a little bit, they armor you. Um, yeah. I mean, you have a lot of layers to wear things um, on a colonist, basically. And uh, as you see here, the shoe slot is uh, not getting shown because... Uh, He's not wearing anything on the slot. It's a little bit weird. Um, there you go. Um, that slot um, appeared when you, when we wore it because it covers the feet. Uh, it's a very <laughs> RimWorld has a very weird uh, clothing system. One of the most uh, complicated I've ever encountered in my life. Gotta admit, mining company from Hinthidio. Wonderful. I didn't finish the rec room. There's another thing that was uh, crossing my mind. You can make these things out of uh, stone even. The radio needs steel. The telly needs steel. The computers can be made out of stone even or out of wood. 
Alright, so uh, with that mining company around the corner, I'm going to try and uh, see if I can earn us some starting money by, by buying some minerals and turning them into good things. Oh, there's a cheetah. Always take care of the cheetah. Or the cheetah takes care of you. Okay, so what do these guys sell and uh, can I actually afford it? So, they don't have any blocks. They only have horribly expensive clay bricks. Um, that steel, though, is quite um, tempting, but I don't have anything uh, that I could sell to them apart from that insect meat. So we're going to trade steel for insect meat, even if it's only a minuscule amount. Um, so let's do it. Let's, uh, let's search for some steel and I do have a smelter, right? So that's going to be another thing. Going to build up a pallet and uh, I'm going to store something there. I didn't find time yet to get the uh, mining jobs done so yeah there's uh, just a little bit too much of this and that everywhere to be done and the first uh, pregnancy on the goats like i said it had to happen and now we're going to be better off so <clears throat> okay um we're going to take care of that cheetah right away and it's going to be connor and eric uh Den dennis and eric so simple thing eric will stand up in front if that thing starts to attack he's going to cover it and with somebody uh that good at, um, at combat like eric i don't even think it's uh it's sassy to take it on that way there we go so let's uh fly right in and there we go so easy quite easy at least it looks like it it wasn't really easy okay there we go because that cheetah would start hunting my goats i'm pretty sure about that all right so let's try and make ourselves some computer but first um i'm going to select some floor finally <laughs> so arabesque floors are really costly we're not that uh rich yet <laughs> definitely not so staggered tiles Let, let's try those there we go fire Nah. Not even worth mentioning that fire. Okay. There we go. I don't want to issue any new uh, hunting orders because I don't want to strain out um, Eric's I'm um, not Eric's, uh, Dennis's workforce. So let's make some aprons. Aprons are also quite awesome. They are having this uh, this global work speed and general labor speed bonus. That's uh, some, some stat combo that I really like. Okay, there we go. So once I have enough uh, items I can sell, we're going to get over to the neighbors and try to see what we can buy there hmm yeah i do like that look i do like that look so let's uh, do some lighting in here and i need some steel or iron lindsay hey welcome welcome to your new home um, your new old home. So Lindsay is going to uh, be a big help, I guess. 
So she's uh, very good with plants as well, or is go she's going to be at least, and uh, she's going to cook for us. So Connor is free to mine as well, and then I can uh, turn Dennis down from that one, and maybe turn him over to research because uh, somebody has to do that. And um, Yana is most of the time not getting to that job. All right, so she's considered a hunter. I don't consider her a hunter. She's uh, tough. I I want to have her um, melee at one at some point. And uh, she's not meant to be mining, for sure not. Nice. So now I have Dennis on the research bench, but still, where's the steel? Where's the iron? There's the components, but uh, there's iron. Okay, iron does work as well. Let's mine out larger quantities of that stuff. It's uh, quite simple. Um, iron can be turned in a smelter into um, steel as well. So here I'm going to storage my iron um, on, this, on this pallet here. And we're going to smelt her steel from iron until forever um, goes to crafter bot one that job and only in the close vicinity of the bench because obvious reasons. There we go. So Connor should now be able to finally get his mi get to his mining passion. I mean, okay, Connor's real passion would be science, but uh, it's really, really tragic on him. It's, uh, he's incapable of it, but he's uh, but he's loving it. So um, that's because he's also loving drug synthesis. Maybe I can work it, let him work there, but uh, I'm not sure. There's a high chance that the game is like, hey, you're incapable. Hell no. I don't know. We're going to see. But hey, we're having those aprons now going on for us. Nice. That's more of a farmer look. They're enjoying their new lifestyle, I'd say. Spacecraft junks. Let's deconstruct that. It's at least uh, some steel. But apart from that, I'm seeing some iron ore seams, but uh, pure compacted steel so far not to be seen anywhere nope nope and nope that's really disgusting wow okay so we're going to uh chop that out of the iron but that um is a very very uh clear um problem here for my plans because uh, even if I go and uh, make parts of that computer out of stone, there's still 60 steel involved. And without steel, there's no computers. That's sad. I would have loved to uh, make some marketing with these items, but uh, considering now um, what a hard time we're having here with uh, bringing up steel at all, I don't see myself um, selling steel. No, no. Next step I'm going to take to earn myself some money is going to be an art bench. Because if there's uh, such a shortage with steel and, so, and such things, we are going to make money out of art. Because Connor is loving art. Really loving art. Exclamation mark. So uh, it's sadly time to, uh, to, to say goodbye for today, friends. It's already... Such a long time in, I don't want to stop gaming, but I don't want to draw out single episodes too long. So, if you like what you've seen, let me thank, thank you, say thanks for watching. I'm really happy to have you around. And if you haven't done so already, now is a really good time to click that little uh, subscription button and uh, make, my, make me a very, very happy man. And uh, whatever might be the case, I wish you a wonderful time. And I hope we're going to see each other again on the next episode. And until then, goodbye.